hi friends uh, welcome to this video today uh, we are going to discuss um, one of the known issue with um, the Wiley Fox smartphones the battery uh, you know drying issue and uh, a known solution for that um, so Wiley Fox is one of the leading smartphone manufacturer from Britain and uh, there are few different variants of phones that are available in the market and uh, this one is uh, Wiley Fox uh, uh, Swift 2 plus um, you know this is one of the uh, you know good budget phone I have uh, ever used and uh, never experienced any other issue than this battery issue which is looks like very quite common so um, you know there is a there's a fix I have um, identified and I have you I'm, I'm using it you know whenever I'm facing this issue which I'm going to discuss you know, share with you which uh, you know the safe mode recovery uh, so before going to discuss on detail of that uh, let me explain uh, the the connectors and you know the the buttons are available in the phone we have the power button and the volume up and down which is on the same uh, button available here on the right side and the sim card slot in the left side and the power connectors here and the volume volume you know the the audio jack on the top of the phone so um here uh, it, the phone is actually using the type c connectors um, it is uh, you know different than we can find in the other uh, Android phones like Samsung and all there's a type C connector um, whenever we are charging this phone uh, there is an indicator a lead indicator here uh, which will be a steady red color um, when you know if the battery is below 20 percentage I believe um, when it cross that you know it will become to a, a steady green color when it is charging now during this issue uh, if the battery is actually uh, you know below five percentage uh, or you know sometime below than that the phone goes switched off itself and it won't turn on back and whenever you try to uh, plug it to the power socket you can see that instead of a steady LED you can see that a red LED is flashing here that means your battery is not charging at all and you won't be able to turn on your phone using the power button it won't power on at all now uh, what is the solution for this one uh, before going to the uh, you know the safe mode recovery you know first you need to verify that uh, there is uh, uh, there isn't any damage with your cable uh, or the you know adapters so the type C connector this is the one from the manufacturer make sure you connected this and it's giving and there is no damage on the cable uh, and if you have any doubt you know just try uh, using a, uh, a different what different cable you know this is one of the replacement I found from the market and uh, uh, this also does a job but you know if and uh, if that didn't charge and then uh, make sure also like you connect the uh, phone to the wall socket using the adapter uh, instead of connecting the laptop or car charger because they won't give the sufficient current usually uh, the one I have is 1.5 amp connector and uh, if you have a little higher uh, you know rating but like you know 2 amp uh, adapter that is really good which will you know supply more current um, to the device you know if it is on the, the low battery stage and it will help to you know charge the battery now if it is not uh, and it's not powering on then what you need to do first thing like um, connect the connect the uh, power cable and uh, plug it to the, the socket uh, and uh, turn it on you can see that LED will be flashing here um, so I'm not connecting to that socket at the moment um, so make sure you connected when you are doing this recovery and power on um, and thereafter enter into the safe mode by using this uh, you know key combination so use the uh, volume down button and the power button simultaneously press and hold for few seconds uh, it is three three to four seconds I believe usually you know just uh, hold it for a few seconds until it turn on so I'll show you like this volume down and power button simultaneously yeah so you can see it's, it's powering on so just leave it for a few more seconds you can see that it's it it is not powering on instead that it is it will come into the recovery mode so it's Android recovery and you can see different options available here you have a reboot system now reboot to the bootloader apply update from ADB like few different options using this volume button you can move between these options uh, however please make sure you won't go
go and select any of the bottom options because these options actually wipe the, the data from your uh, phone. Um, so you don't need to basically change any options here. What actually you need to try is like reboot your device using the safe uh, mode option, the recovery mode option. So once you are in this first option, use the power button, which is actually the select option. So just press the power button. Uh, it will reboot your system. So the phone is now rebooting uh, and uh, just leave it and you can see that it will reboot and it will come to the uh, the normal boot options and uh, to the lock screen. So why I mentioned you need to make sure your phone connected to the power socket because when you are entering uh, from the recovery when you are trying to reboot the uh, smartphone uh, it will it will start you know charging the battery on back um, sometimes it won't work in the first attempt um, I experienced the same issue I tried a couple of times or sometimes you know two or three times in a, in a sequence uh, but that works you know it happens I mean you know four or five times with me and all, all the time when I tried this option worked perfectly so uh, you can also um, try this recovery mode if you experience the same issue and I hope um, this video will help to help you to you know fix the, the issue. Uh, if you like the video, please uh, click like and subscribe uh, for more videos and uh, tech videos like this. My channel. Thank you.